Well, she is, she's basically kept by uh, Sam Jackson's character, Ordell, in, in a beach house. She spends her day uh, getting high, lying out at the beach. Uh, she has it, she has it pretty good and she's, she just keeps pushing for more. You know, it's kind of comforting to get stoned and watch TV all day, don't you, don't you find? <laughs> really? Is it? <laughs> it can be. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> okay. This is for European TV. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> uh, do you think it's comforting? <laughs> Do I think? Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, it would seem so. Although it's in and of itself, I think that you, you uh, there's a point where you make a shift and then you get interested in life, and I, I made that shift. So, but Melanie didn't make that shift. She she never got tired of it. Now, um, you know, you Quentin was got some terrific performances from all of you guys. Can we talk about how he works? It's like well, it's, it's difficult to describe how Quentin works because he, at any given moment, he can do something different. He can give you anything, whatever's necessary, whatever pops into his mind, what, whatever the moment requires. And that, I think that's how he does it, is that he doesn't have any rules, he doesn't have any particular way that he works that I could see. I mean, his way is no holds barred, just whatever, whatever it takes, whatever he's in the mood for, whatever you're in the mood for, anything to throw you off or to so center you. Or it's, it's very, uh, he, he goes with it. He's right there with you. Uh, is he very precious about his, his script or can you, can you play with it? No, it, well, it, it depends. I, I wouldn't say as a rule he is. Every now and then, he'll definitely come in and say, you know, try it this way or say it the way that it is or I like this line better. I mean, he, he really is, he's very flexible. But for the most part, the script is so, so right and s perfect to act from. It, it's a, a really a great springboard that you don't, you don't really need to deviate from it. Um. Now, Melanie, would you say she's a typical Southern Californian for someone who, does, who doesn't live here? <laughs> she's not typical, but she's definitely, she, she's definitely an element of what you can find here. If you, if you spend enough time and you look around, you will run into people like Melanie. But I don't think it's, I don't think it's exclusive to Southern California. I just think that most of the people who want to be that way gravitate towards Southern California. What about the Southern California that, that Quentin is showing in this film? Um, it's not really what we know of the postcards and the, and the movies, is it? No, but if you, if you go to the postcard places and those racks down at the beach and when you see them and it's really, it gets sort of trashy and it's all, it's a real bikini culture, that is the, that's the sell. For, for the beach in California is uh, is that 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 girl the girl who's you know she sort of knows what she's got. Now, um, I guess you you're familiar with the black exploitation movies. Yes. And how did you familiarize yourself with them? Well, I I, I grew up seeing it and, and uh, I I didn't actually need to. I just, it was always there. It, you know, there's always something uh, that you're across 110th Street, you're going to go in to see. And I, I saw a lot of them with Quentin that he was screening. Um, uh, Three the Hard Way, Cleopatra Jones. These are all things that I basically grew up seeing, mixed in with everything else that you get. So did he, did he, do you think he did the genre justice? Yes, I think he did. I think well, I, I wouldn't say that it was strictly that genre. I think that it's blossomed into something else, probably due to his crossing it with Elmore Leonard's book and his own style, which is so, so active and, and so he's really very much got his own mark that he has, which is that combination of uh, humor and tension and so there, there's a real it's a fine line that he knows how to walk and by blending that all in 
with that familiar genre, he's made a bit of a hybrid. But, but it, it's definitely, there's all these familiar flavors in it, and yet at the same time it's a completely new thing. What would you say makes him tick? I, you know what? <laughs> I have no idea. I think that if you spent every day with him for years, you would find something new coming up, something new coming up. Just when you think that you know what makes him tick, there's going to be something else that comes out, and you say, aha, a new element. He's, he's very complicated. You know, there's this scene where, where um, you're watching TV, and there's your uncle on. My father. <laughs> it's your father. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what did you think of that? I loved it. I loved it. I, I was I was really I saw it at, I, I went to the premiere with my father and uh, and I was very pleased to know that he was about to go in thinking that that he he wasn't you know not knowing that he was actually in the film in a little in a smaller way but he he actually makes an appearance. Uh, you know how was it working with these really most of the most of your scenes were with one with one or both of two excellent <laughs> actors. <laughs> uh, yep. Uh, does it rub off? How does it? How does it work with with, with De Niro, for example? Um, well, it's it's really. I, what can I say? It's basically. It's like a dream. You're working with Sam Jackson, Robert De Niro. They're so amazing. You're watching them do the stuff. You're constantly inspired, constantly feeling yourself being pushing yourself inside, in that inspiration to do your best work because you're seeing this amazing work going on around you. So would you say this, uh, this, this film is a good career move for the, for the people in it? Yeah, well, yes. Whenever you are going to be in something that's going to be as good as uh, Quanta Quentin's films, in particular, in particular this film, because it's very, very character rich and you have a lot of time, it, it, that's for any actor, that's what you hope for, that's what you think that you're going to get when you start and realize how rare it is as you go along and so when it comes around particularly if you've been doing it for a while you really appreciate how special it is and how wonderful it is for your career only in that it's that perfect audience exposure for the kind of work that you want to do. What other films that you've been in would you say have been pivotal for, 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 your, for your career? Oh well there are, when I was first starting, it was Scandal, and uh, along the way, it, it's, it's very different. It's, it depends on the role, it depends on the, the director you're working with. Um, single white female really had a, a new twist of something that I hadn't done. Um, Point of No Return was another one, which there, there are different moments where I felt that I, I was forced to expand uh, from what I had known before in, into a new territory. And this is another one. <laughs> you know, it's a, the mix is very eclectic. Are you happy with the way things are going? Yeah, yeah, I am. I'm very happy. I, I've never felt that I've never felt bored with playing a certain type of character because I've always played different types. And, and on the one hand, it's it's a little odd if somebody tries to figure out what type I am, or if I try to figure out how can I see how am I perceived and what's the best way to use myself for giving the optimum satisfaction in portraying a character, I have a very hard time nailing down what my type is. Uh, but it might be because I'm inside my head. But I, I've, asked, I've asked people for their professional opinion. Well, what do you think? Where, where should I go next? And what, how am I perceived? And uh, nobody seems to know. <laughs> Which I guess is good, uh, but may, maybe it's bad. But I'm enjoying it, so it's OK. Well, you should keep it up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right, thanks. <laughs>